So, morning, Gareth. How did you get on? Uh, yeah, not too bad. A um, little bit of an incident on Tuesday night. Um, I was out on my motorbike, uh, taking a route that I take quite often, because uh, it's the same route that I take to work. Um, just driving along in the bus lane, which obviously as a motorcyclist you're allowed to do. Um, there was a car in the lane to my right, and uh, in fact it was a van, um, and we were just heading down the road. Uh, he was slightly off in front of me, and I was just coming up level with him. Um, I think the car in front of him had decided to take a right turn in, and rather than slow down and wait for the guy to turn and then carry on, uh, the gentleman decided he was going to, with no indication, um, he was just going to undertake. And he comes straight across into my lane. Um, I started braking and beeping my horn, unfortunately. He just kept coming over further and further uh, until eventually he just forced me into the curb and smashed me off my bike. So did he actually cross the bus lane line? Uh, he was... Um, well, he pushed me into the curb, so he was. So he crossed the solid he, line. He was completely in. I, yeah. I would say he even his right hand side was completely over into oh. the bus lane. So yeah. he was in the bus lane completely. So were you hurt? I was. Yeah. Um, I've damaged my left leg, my thigh, my knee, my ankle, uh, my left shoulder, whiplash on my neck, the bottom of my back. Uh, my right elbow, my right shoulder. Uh, mm. Obviously, the bike's looking to be a write-off at the moment as well. Spent two days on the phone to insurance companies and solicitors and God knows what, bikers' legal defence and everything. Um, and they've taken my bike away that I've spent a year working on and that's just sort of gone down the pan now. So, so did he stop? He did stop, yeah. And uh, luckily enough as well, we had two witnesses stop as well. Um, so yeah, obviously phoned all the necessary people at the time and exchanged insurance details and stuff as well as I could. Obviously I was a little bit in shock, I've never really been in an accident before, so... Did you have to go to the hospital? Uh, I went to see my GP because there was no sort of critical injuries initially. Okay. Um, yeah. they advised me to go to my GP. And what did the police say? Uh, they actually said, um... With, with the evidence that has been presented to them, uh, there's a good chance he'll be prosecuted. Yeah. So what's your advice to other learner drivers then? Uh, just be very aware of uh, bus lanes, where you're allowed to be, where you shouldn't be, and uh, uh, more aware of people around you, and certainly of motorcyclists, because they are vulnerable at the end of the day. Right. Do you think there's anything you could have done to avoid that accident? No. And and I think that is that is the problem, is it was completely out of my hands. There was nothing I could do. Hmm. Well, thanks very much, Gareth. I hope that your injury gets away and you manage to pass your proper driving test. You're obviously <laughs> yeah. gonna be even more careful about motorcyclists Absolutely. in bus lanes. Absolutely. Yeah.